in this video I'm going to show you how to create a set in Quizlet. So when you log in you should get a front page a little bit like this one. All you need to do is click on create a set. Then you need to give your set of words a title. So I'm going to do one called parts of speech. Okay, so then you need to put in the words that you want to use. So I'm just going to use three today. Um, you need to confirm that it's English. Uh, okay, and then it's time to define. So you have two choices here. You can either auto define, um, where again you choose the language um, and it gives you some options. Um, now this sort of comes with a warning really, um, sometimes it gets it completely right like that and then sometimes it gets it a little bit wrong. Um, it's a bit like Wikipedia really, it's um, editable by anybody and um, as a result sometimes not that accurate. So I'm going to put in my own definition because I like to do that anyway so that my students understand. Okay, um, Okay, so I've put in my definitions. I'm going to keep this short so that I can show you. So once you've done that, that's it really. Um, by the side you can see sort of add picture. This isn't something that you can do in the free version, but for something like $25 a year, I'm not sure what that is in pounds, but um, quite affordable if it was something your department was going to use a lot. You can add little pictures. Um, you can also add an audio, so you can add yourself saying it or a definition of yourself. Um, then all you do is click create and then you've got your set and once you've got your set you can use it for all the fun activities above print pages so you can just print yourself a sheet that learners could learn from the table and the glossary are quite similar um, then you've got small and large cards that you can cut out use as a matching activity or a palmanism and you've also got index cards that you can also print out maybe for revision cards something like that um, if we go back to the set the other thing that you can print which I find really useful is the test and you can choose the different types of test you want to use starting with either the term or definition and then just create new test and it gives you a little test of your definitions and your words. You can print that out, give it to students at the start of a lesson, at the end of a lesson, whenever you want really. Okay, so that's how you create your set. Um, if you're not sure what you can do with your set, please watch the other video where I show you some of the activities that you can do. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks, bye.